Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate UCLA. I thought, you know, they played hard. I'm not sure that this was the prettiest match ever played, uh, but they, they made the plays they needed to make at key moments. And in the fourth set, I thought, you know, they sat at 82%. They played exceptional. Um, and we just couldn't stop them in that set. And, you know, we had our, we had our chances, certainly, to go up 2-1. And, and that's what happens. We, you know, we stole one and two, and they stole one and three. And put ourselves in an opportunity maybe to go up 2-1. And, you know, that's the, that's the way it goes. Uh, for this team, I, I couldn't be prouder of this group. I just, I've never been around a group of people that were more committed to each other, more committed to the process, and more committed to just being not just great volleyball players, but great people. And it's truly been a pleasure to work with this group. And I, before the match, I was talking to my wife and I was talking to Dave and the staff. And I was just saying that it, no matter what happens tonight, I'm going to be sad because it's, it's over. It means that the time's over. And, um, it's hard. I almost got emotional in practice just because of that. Because I just love these guys, and and it's it's been a fun ride that they've that they've pulled us along on. Question for the coach or student athletes. Uh, Jack Hammond with Los Angeles Times. Uh, Kevin, it seemed as if your serve receive uh, struggled tonight. Yeah, we didn't get ace too much until the until the fourth set. Um, but we were out of system a lot, and then I, I don't think we we handled uh, the ball the way we needed to. Uh, more more so in some transition stuff, both first and second contacts. But I I thought you know we, we going into the fourth set we we only raced we raced we weren't ace at all. We just were passing the ball from that, and that's tough against a team that can that can put up a block like they can put up. Coach, obviously uh, Zoe Nightingale had, had quite a match on the net, uh, eleven blocks for her. Uh, what was what was going on there that you weren't able to try and get the matchup there that you were looking for? Who says we didn't get the matchup we were looking for? I mean, we got the exact matchup we wanted. Um, so we had a great match. She blocked well. I thought early on we were played tentative and we swung low and we got her going and she felt comfortable. Um, but I, you know, I liked our matchup. We liked putting Lizzie on Kidder. We got we kind of we had that for at least two of the rotations most of the time. For, uh, for any of the players, uh, that, that third set was an awfully tough set to lose under the circumstances. Do you feel that that was difficult uh, to, to overcome going into the fourth set? Colleen, can you respond to that, please? Yeah. Um, obviously, you, you see how I played great the third match. Um, it could have went either way. They just, you know, they got the ending points. Um, it was definitely hard for us to come back in the fourth. But, you know, we fought hard. They just got a huge run on us, and they didn't let us get any points back. We struggled with the side out, so they pulled the match up. That's how it worked. Uh, Colleen, I know you didn't get the result you wanted, but can you just talk about the journey you've been on from Florida to Illinois and ending in the national championship? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some water first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm just really grateful that I had the opportunity to come to Illinois. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't have picked a better team, better coaches, um, better support from our fans. I just, I'm really thankful for. What we had here and what we accomplished this year, I'm really proud of my team. I'm afraid to ask the kids a question, Kevin. So, <laughs> no, you. Uh, um, is it's it fair to good. say that after the other night that, that you you might have gotten a little tired towards the end, and and because they, they didn't have to expend nearly the amount of energy that you had to expend, and and the recovery time just may not have been enough. I mean, you know, I don't know. Yeah, uh, maybe, but we're used to playing Friday, Saturday, so to have a day off was actually really nice. And uh, we took it real easy yesterday, trying to recover. I, I wouldn't make, I wouldn't use that as an excuse at all. At all, we've, yeah, we went, we've been, we've gone five sets in tough matches in the Big Ten Friday, Saturday, and been able to pull those out. I, I think it had a lot more to do with UCLA's outside hitters doing a great job, and, and Zoe getting loose on us blocking wise than it did any, had anything to do with us being tired. They played better. Yeah, Coach, if you could just possibly talk about 
that block for UCLA, it seemed like even if they weren't getting blocks, they were putting a hand on the ball and really causing a lot of havoc for you guys. Yeah, they played well. You know, that happens. That's going to happen when we pass the ball off the net a little bit, that they, we're out of system and they're going to be able to set up a nice block. And I think more importantly is when they got those touches, they converted them into some good swings. You know, we got some touches and we didn't convert them or we didn't make the plays. And I thought uh, Kelly Reeves and I'm going to mispronounce her name, but I'll just say Boyana. I'm not going to try the last name. But, uh, I thought she, they were flying all over the place making plays and creating swings for them. And that, that, was, a, that was a big difference. It was hard to score high flat off the top of the block because they were – taking up that whole in line. And Annie, if you could comment, it seemed like uh, you were really working a lot offensively, more in an attacking way. Did you feel that was a product of their block and you just trying to find holes? Yeah, I mean, I've talked about it before this season to you guys. Um, some teams key in on me and some teams don't, and they happen not to. So I saw the opportunity and I used it. Kevin, the, the ability that they have to make a sub like that and bring Sage in for the fourth set, and she was so incredibly effective. I mean, that's, that's, could you just comment on her as a weapon and what she did? Yeah, she I, was something like seven or eight with no errors. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a good change of pace for them. I, you know, I felt like we, we were doing a nice job on, on Mariana. Uh, and, that, you know, all of a sudden, they, with that fast go that they had, if they, they, that was a good move by Mike to put her in there because it, it got some production in the middle going where we couldn't just take off and go to the outside, which is what we were doing, and gave us a chance to score points. So I thought it was a great move, and she did a nice job of you know, finding a way to get some kills and just keeping us honest. And certainly there's a reason why they scored at 82%, because in those rotations when, when Aquino was up there, we were scoring points, and we were running points in those. And I thought it was, it was a good move, and she performed well too. It, wasn't, it took some courage to put her out there. And then she made plays. She responded. Coach, what did you say to uh, Coach Seeley um, after the game? Just congratulations, you know. And we talked before, and if it's, you know, if, if we have to lose to somebody, I'd, you know, it's, that's a guy I want to lose to because I care about him. He's a good guy, and I've known him for a long time, and we kind of exchanged that, you know. And uh, at the end of the game, I just said, hey, congratulations. It's, you know, great job. Your team played great. I mean, it wasn't much more than you normally say at the end of a match, to be honest. Coach, there was, you guys had 11 service errors as opposed to there's zero. Talk about just the, the serve today, and did you, was there something you saw that was alarming at all or throughout the game? No, I wasn't alarmed. I mean, we, had to, we felt like we had to put pressure on them because they could get going in the middle, and we needed to get them off the net so we can try to trap the outside a little bit so we missed more serves. But I think we needed to. They're a great passing team, and I mean, I didn't want to miss serves, but we needed to serve aggressive, and sometimes you're going to make some errors. That didn't bother me. Colin, can you comment on the resiliency in the second set, able to come back from that, from that big deficit and, and actually take the set? I mean, it's a national championship match. We had to have something to come back with. Um, I think we did a really great job of coming back, though. UCLA had a great match in you know, every set. Um, we, just, you know, we just really wanted that match, and somehow we pulled it out. I know this team had, you know, very, very high goals. Is it, is it difficult at this moment to keep this maybe in perspective that you were one of the two final teams in, in the nation, even though, again, you know, the disappointment of tonight? Who's that question for? Any of the players. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we, we wanted to win. It's been our goal since the beginning of the season to win the national championship. So, I mean, it's obviously tough for us not to do that. Um, but we are proud of how far we came. We have time for one more question. If there... Andy, for you, you're going to get another shot at this. So uh, what does that mean to you? I mean, I haven't really thought about that. That's something that I'll think about tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> but, I mean, it, our program's got a lot. Of, we've made a lot of growth this year, and we've still got a lot of growth we can make, and it's exciting. So we're going to miss the seniors more than we know yet. But I think we know what here is now. We've never been here before, and so now we know it, and 
it's just going to make us want to come back more. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.